Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Iconsoft's Komen car to review today. So we're taking a look at a car that is 5'11 with high medium work rates, right footed, three star skills with a three star weak foot. In regards to his in-game attributes, he's got 73 acceleration with 86 sprint speed, which uh, for the meta nowadays can be pretty short or low. Uh, he's got 83 acceleration with uh, 86 sprint speed with the shadow chemistry style, which is usable, but you probably have to play defense a certain way for you to be able to fully utilize a car. But we're going to be testing out uh, that pace with his dribbling stats anyways, right? So with shooting, he's got 78 attacking positioning, 82 finishing, 98 shot power with 94 long shots at 87 composure. So with stats like this, right? and a work rate of high medium, this could be a card you can use in the CDM position. Now, you could have potentially used him in the center mid position if his dribbling stats were a little bit better, but in the CDM position, he definitely looks incredibly usable there, and he actually looks like he could be very, very solid in that position, which we will be trying out in-game. Uh, passing on the card is really good, especially for a player that's going to be playing in the center back position or CDM position. Um, his dribbling stats, the only thing that's off is his 66 agility and 72 balance. However, having 91 reactions, 86 ball control, uh, 78 dribbling with 87 composure in the midfield CDM position or in the uh, center back position is still pretty solid right now. Obviously, it'd be nice to have more acceleration to compensate for his dribbling stats kind of being low, but it is what it is. Uh, defensive stats on this card are very good as well with the shadow chemistry style we will be drastically increasing it to be essentially perfect because of his base card stats being really good and the shadow chemistry style being needed for a card like this and then last but not least physical stats look really good 86 aggression with the pace is not too bad uh, he's got 86 strength 86 stamina 85 jumping uh, this is the type of card where you have to actually try him out in game because honestly there's no real way of knowing how he's going to perform i am fully aware that the pace part of the card is going to probably be a problem from time to time um, but you can definitely still work around it if you want to use him for fun so we're going to be seeing um, how he performs in game there's a few reviews that we're actually going to be doing on this account because prime cards are pretty important right now so you know the big one right there you know what i'm saying boys but we are going to be using this Komen card in the three at the back formation, three, five, two. Just nice little balance instructions. You don't want to mess with it too much. I'm going to put this on four and this on five because that's actually been working out really nicely for me recently. Um, and we're going to have Komen playing in the center, center back position in a three, five, two. So a very balanced team uh, in every position except for Andrea Pirlo, which, um, or not Andrea Pirlo because that three, five, two actually has Marquinhos and Andrea Pirlo. Uh, so it would actually make more sense. For you to do something like this and then switch Marquinhos with Ferland Mendy and then Marquinhos with Casemiro's card. And then we have Ferland Mendy off to that left side with Andrea Pirlo on the center defense mid position with Valverde. And then I could just switch between Coleman and the CDMs. Uh, we're going to be playing some regular instructions. So cut pass lane, stay back while attacking, cover center. And then uh, with Coleman, we'll have him on stay back while attacking, playing in some pretty default oriented 3 5 2 tactics. So um, yeah, we might be able to get more than one game with him because we're reviewing the other cards as well. But one game is all you really need to see what the base characteristics of a card is and how he performs on regular tactics. So uh, yeah, let's get into a game and see how he plays. See what his marking is like here. We'll switch to him right here. Use his physical presence as much as possible. Tackle. You know what, guys? His his transitioning is actually not as bad as I thought it would be. That's um, it's actually pretty solid, to be fair. Oh, tackles are a little bit strange in this game, so I don't always fully blame the defenders for that. But um, yeah, let's see what his dribbling is like on the ball, actually. So here's the thing that's really nice about the card. His body type is definitely going to work out really nicely with the dribbling stats that he has in the center back position or in the CDM area as well. Okay, this is a good one. You know what? His running after animation is really not that bad. Like, I'm playing on five depth right now. So normally with a player like Coleman, like let's just say, for instance, you were going to play uh, like a 4-2-3-1 or something. Uh, using a card like this on like three depth or something could be perfectly fine to be honest because the body type and the dribbling stats that he has for him to move across the pitch nicely is really not that bad to be fair. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I, I actually thought this card was going to be significantly worse, but um, he's pretty decent. I like him more than the, the Vintage card so far, which is interesting. And I think it's because of his dribbling stats being better, right? 
see what he's like chasing after this guy here. We're going to control the middle here. Watch this little space here. Oh, he's going to score that one, yeah. So I just wanted to kind of like walk the, the middle area. Obviously, you kind of have to fully come into the attacker right there to avoid a situation like that. But I just wanted to test out his running and then his stopping and then running again. And it's really, it's really not as bad as I thought it would be, which is good. There we go. That's actually a perfect opportunity to try out the running. Yeah, so you can see that you don't want to play like super high depth because he's not like an agile runner to get into the positions. Um, but like I said, dudes, like I, I think he's perfectly fine if you play him on that three depth, right? And you don't have to run too much, but you can kind of just like occupy a certain space. You know what I mean? Nice, Coleman. There you go. Ball roll touch. Under pressure. We get the goal kick. Beautiful stuff. Uh, it, those situations are so weird. That's why I don't like the through balls in this game, because... <laughs> you block that area well and you foul him, but it, like, how, how other way are you supposed to tackle the guy right there? You know what I'm saying? Like, just holding out trigger, too. Nope. We uh, lost the ball right there, but at least Cohen was able to get it back. Good possession-based tackle. Can transition quickly enough to get into that position. I would go for the switch, but the guy's using team press right now, so we'll just go with the goalkeeper for now. Work that middle space there. Situations like this where your people are using team press and you have players that can pass the ball well is really, really helpful, right? Because now you created the space for ourselves right here. We have the guy up top as well if we wanted to work with him. And uh, we scored that opportunity. So, you know, a situation like that where Coleman has the passing stats that he does and our right mid in a situation like that kind of helps us out, we could potentially score some nice counterattack goals and our team pressing, right? Fake shot up. Uh, doesn't register the fake shot, okay. <laughs> but uh, at least Cohen was able to chase after that ball right there and win it back. Okay, guys, so it's pretty obvious what he's going to feel like in-game, right? But we are uh, also reviewing Ronaldo, so I could totally put some more games in there. But definitely already have a good feel of what the card is like. Uh, we're going to be using him as one of the center backs this time in a 4-2-3-1. Oh, that was a bad challenge, Coleman. <laughs> right over the ball. It's it's hard to blame the person when uh, people challenge the ball like that because this game is very strange in that way, but... There you go, Coleman. We'll take that ball, at least. Physical presence. There you go. You don't have the pace, but you need to use that uh, L trigger or L2 shield to get that ball in that situation. Let's go, Coleman. Good interception right there. Wish it was possession based, but like I mean, it's it's always random in this game, right? But his stop and turns are actually pretty good. Being able to stop and turn quick is really important. Okay, guys, uh, with Coleman, we're gonna put him in the CDM position. He feels very similar to what he does in the first game. Obviously, it's not like he's gonna change unless the game plays different. But even still, you can still tell of cards base characteristics. Uh, we're gonna switch him to the CDM position now. In that situation right there, Coleman actually uh, goes right inside the 18-yard box to block that opportunity, which is pretty solid. It's good that a CDM actually does that whenever given the opportunity, because he's on that cut pass lane instruction there. Really nice to have the passing there in that midfield position as well. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to use him as a CDM, he'll definitely be incredibly usable there. Body type that he has, passing stats that he has... Defensive awareness that he has is really nice, uh, but you just have to be careful with his high medium work rates because he can be aggressive from time to time, depending on the tactics that you're going to obviously have as well. Like he's going to be conservative depending on the again the tactics that you have, um, but for base characteristics, he can be aggressive even on the stay back for sure. But it's not as bad as uh, as I initially thought it would be for sure. Oh, we actually get a uh, penalty right there. Does Coleman have uh, penalties? Oh my god, he does. <laughs> Look at this guy. Will I get that right there? Ooh! Give me that! 
All right, guys, so final verdict on this card in regards to how he performs in games. So he surprised me a little bit. He definitely performed a little bit better than I thought he would. However, uh, the things that we mentioned before we actually tried out the card was definitely relevant in game, and you can definitely see it, right? So uh, the 83 acceleration with the 86 sprint speed, if you play a certain defensive tactic, will be a problem. However, if you play him on something like three depth and you don't often find yourself uh, you know, over committing a certain tackle because you want to be able to be more conservative, this card will actually defend for you really well. His defensive stats are pretty solid. His physical stats are pretty solid. Having the passing and shooting abilities is great. His dribbling for defensive presence, moving left and right, transitioning wise, uh, was again, better than I thought it would. I, I, I think his 91 reactions actually helps out the card a lot. But at the end of the day, it's not necessarily a meta oriented card because of the pace being too low um, for certain scenarios in game. You could definitely use him in the CDM position if you really want to for a strong defensive presence, especially if you want to start off with like a five at the back formation to put him there. Uh, he's definitely very usable in that position and the pace isn't as bad to have in that area than it is to have in the center back position because, you know, if an attacker is fast enough to break your defense and run in behind, you want to be able to catch up to him, right? So Coleman will obviously not be able to do that for you in that defensive tactic, but in the CDM position, um, his defensive awareness is solid, but the high medium work rates will affect him from time to time because maybe he'll be caught out of position uh, because of that base characteristic of his. So um, if you guys do the card, it is mostly sentimental, I think, but he will offer you a decent defensive presence if you put him in your squad. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.